Hey there everybody, T-Shirt Booth here for GSHelper.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to do cat physics. Um, basically you shoot a ball and you hit one of the arrows and then it sends the ball in that direction and then you hit another arrow and send the ball in that direction. Um, it's fairly simple to do and I'm going to show you how. First thing you need to do is go into attributes and create a new attribute and we're going to choose an angle because we want to go in um, a direction and we're going to call this direction. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go into our circle actor. Now, you only want to use a circle actor that's pointing right. That's the only one you don't, you don't want to make one pointing up and pointing left. Always use the one pointing right and then just rotate it in the direction you want it to be in. Now, I'm going to go ahead and go into this actor. And we're at the very top. We're going to create a rule. And you want it to be at the top so it fires first. And we're going to do when overlaps or collides with ball change attribute game direction to self rotation and this is going to tell it what direction that circle is going in and then what we want to do is we want to go into the ball and we want to put a rule and I put it again at the top and we're going to say when overlaps or collides with the circle. And now we're going to use a timer. And the reason why we're using a timer is because we want to make sure that the circle has a, a, a chance to fire first. And then we're going to say after 0 0.04, run to completion. We're going to change velocity. Now for direction, we're going to use game dot direction and I think I'm going to go about 700 for uh, speed for mine relative to scene so when I hit preview I can drag these around so I'm going to put this one let's say here and I'm going to put that one there and now I'm going to shoot my ball and there you go it'll fire in whatever direction the arrow is going in 